Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson with your one minute fitness after 50 tip of the day. I wanna caution you when you're looking right now during the month of January when I'm recording this and you might see it all year round if you're a little more hyper tuned to it or you're thinking you need to lose weight. We see diets, we see cleanses, we see transformations in seven days, 14 days, 21 days. And if, if any of them suggest that you're gonna go on something that you're gonna come back off of, or that the recipes and the juices that you're gonna be on and using are things that you should only do for a short period of time, be aware that those are probably things that might create a calorie deficit, meaning lower than the amount of calories that you need for a short period of time with the theory by those people who are applying it that you need to clean your gut out or you need to abstain from sugary things or gluten things that you've been putting in your body for a short period of time to detox or cleanse yourself. So there's a lot of theory behind that, but none of it's been proven. So if you eat the right things most of the time, your body is continually cleansing itself. So there are short time temporary things that you might do to double your energy. I have a book by that same title, so I have to do a little self full disclosure. But nothing that I suggest is about cutting back on calories or on fats or meats. It's just upping the ante and eating a little bit more consciously fruits and vegetables and the right amount making sure that some of that is blended a little bit more often so you actually get the full nutrient density benefit out of the foods that you're gonna eat, eating organically, grass-fed, those types of things short-term and within your budget are better for you with the hope that you'll continue as many of them as possible afterward because your taste buds will tend to change, your energy level will tend to go up and you won't wanna go backward. That's the real insight to transformation programs that work. If you're going on something that's a strict diet and a change of behavior, for instance, not eating again after 3 p.m. during any day, that might be a hard lifestyle change for anyone else to maintain. I know it would be hard for me or I'd wanna to go to bed at seven <laughs> and look forward to breakfast the next day. But the point is, you're not dirty. You don't necessarily need to cleanse but you probably do need to shift your diet into being something that's cleaner, meaning less pesticides, fewer artificial ingredients, things that were alive recently. You can't outrun a poor diet. So the question then becomes, what is a good diet? And those are things that were alive recently that were closer to plant foods or eating plant foods than processed in a plant. And that was your one minute fitness after 50 tip of the day.